If you put an animal in captivity, often it will go crazy. Javi was so anxious she had plucked out all the feathers that she could reach. Parrots will start to rip out their feathers. Elephants will start to grind their tusks. Horses can start to obsessively sway even when they're sleeping. These animals have been deprived of their natural habitat, the environment they were evolved to live in, and it's causing them unbearable distress. There are some scientists like Dr. Isabel Benke who think that some of the depression and anxiety that human beings are increasingly experiencing is based on something similar, that we have been deprived of the habitat we need. So the University of Essex did a study where it tracked what happens when people move from one part of a city where there's no green space to a very similar part of the city where there is green space. What they found is there's a significant measurable fall in depression and anxiety. There are lots of theories about why this might be. One of them is called biophilia. Human beings evolved to love the environment in which we evolved. And we don't get out into that environment very much. This is a natural antidepressant. It's one that no one's making any money from, so you don't hear that much about it. But exposure to the natural world jolts you out of yourself. One of the things that depression and anxiety are, are being trapped in the self. It's rattling around in your own head. And what exposure to the natural world gives us is a sense of awe. We're just a small thing in a big and complex tapestry, which is freeing, which is releasing. There are natural antidepressants all around us. They come in the forms of social connection, of reconnection to meaningful work, and one of them is the natural world. At the moment, we're more like those parrots in captivity ripping out their feathers than we are like free animals. But it doesn't have to continue this way. To find out more about what really causes depression and anxiety and how to solve them, read Lost Connections by Johan Hari.